Thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm Relia from Videos. Last year, I stood here and I did a talk about automating motion graphics in Blender. And uh, last 10 minutes of that talk, I just complained and whined about how Blender is bad for motion graphics, because it is. And, uh, <laughs> and I felt I was consumed by guilt afterwards. It really sound bad. sounds bad. I was just complaining, not, not doing anything about it. So I talked to my colleagues at Videos. We talked to Ton. Ton told us to talk to Dalai Felinto, who was project manager, project coordinator of Blender 2.8. And we fixed things. We fixed some of the things I was whining about. So we fixed, yeah. We fixed text. Don't get excited, it's text. No one uses text except us motion graphics artists. Yeah, so we fixed text, uh, we fixed uh, vertical alignment, uh, and we fixed the way uh, uh, text boxes deal with extra text in them. So, first video, please. Uh, so this is just vertical alignment. Uh, it works correctly now, it wasn't working correctly at all earlier. So if you take bottom, it seems like it's not correct until you use like J or some other character that goes underneath the baseline. And uh, we've also fixed, so that's vertical alignment working correctly. Center is now working correctly too. Top seems like it's off, but until you use a taller character. So this is information got from font itself, like you know which is the tallest char character in, in the font. And uh, there's top baseline, which is, uh, you can only see it if you type extra text in the second line. And now if you center the text vertically, you can spin it and rotate it and it will work correctly, not like swing around because it was not centered. Okay, next video is about uh, text boxes. So we introduced, uh, this is already in Blender 2.8 and this next thing is not yet in, but it will be soon. So if you have a text box and you type in some extra text in there, uh, the extra text is actually gonna go out of the box, which shouldn't happen. I mean, what's the purpose of the box? Uh, so now we introduced ex some extra options. Uh, it also benefits for this uh, with this fixed vertical alignment. But uh, now with um, we we have a option like overflow is default, which is now, and truncate will cut off extra text uh, uh, by words. And there's also a scale to fit option, which will scale text down to fit that that text box. Yeah. So. So, so yeah, and, and overflow is how it behaves now. So that's pretty much it. Thank you guys. Keep blending and see, I'll see you around. Bye.